Yeah, what's happening, my kings, my queens, my G's, my gents? What's happening, y'all? Today, y'all have a really, really, really surprise haircut for y'all. This is a burst, almost like a burst skin fade mohawk with a little V taper in the back. It's not really a taper, it's just a V shape in the back. But the first thing I am gonna do, guys, is go with my number three guard. Uh, this is uh, my lover in clothes, and I'm just gonna run that little. I'm just gonna run that little bitch all around his head. You feel me? Number three guard, and then the next thing I am doing is I'm actually gonna line him up with my trimmers. That's the real next thing that I really wanna make sure because at the end of the day, I wanna make sure that I don't that I actually don't lose myself into the fade. So that's why I'm trimming him up. That's why I'm shaping him up first. The other side, you're gonna do the exact same thing, guys. It's not that hard. Just make sure you have everything down packed before you actually go into the fade with this type of haircut. And after this, you're gonna actually see that I'm gonna do the same thing in the back, guys. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna shape him up. But here's the thing. You gotta be very, very, very careful when you do this, because you're about to see. I did it so well on one side this side this side i did so perfectly y'all without i my first try i was so hyped <laughs> it started looking so good y'all and then after you do that y'all you just want to make sure to bald him out anything below your marks and i actually bald him out like this um i don't do it with the trimmers and with the teeth facing him because sometimes it could be a little bit too rough people have sensitive skin and this is what i said be very careful and be very mindful of where you do your your shape ups where you mark your lines because right here as you can see i, I executed it kind of well right but the thing is it's not the same height as the other side it's not one is way bigger one is way lower so what I started doing is I'm actually turned him around right here and I look at my mirror. Your mirror is never going to lie to y'all. I promise you, your mirror is never going to lie to y'all. If you don't believe me, give some guy a skin fade, whatever. Don't even look at your mirror, then look at your mirror. Your mirror is probably be like, yo, bro, you got to stop. You just got to quit. <laughs> you got to you hang your clippers up. <laughs> I'm playing with y'all. But the next thing I am doing, guys, is I am setting my first guideline. My first guideline with my trimmers. Uh, because this is more of a little, like, burst fade, uh, we're making, like, a semicircle around his ear. And we're just going to follow that all the way through. I have my wall cordless detailers right here if you notice cordless baby we not corded no more cordless yeah and uh yeah just bold everything out on the bottom and one thing that you are gonna see from me is i ended up changing to my uh andy slimline pro the reason why i did this is because my andy slimline pros aren't as sharp as my and this uh or as my wall detailers you feel me so because of that when i do make my guidelines with these it's going to be so much simpler to take it out. It's going to be so much simpler to take that line out than I made with my Slimline Pros because they're so dull. You feel me? They're not as sharp. The next skyline that y'all going to want to have to do is you're going to have to go in it about an inch or so with your with any type of clippers but up right here i am using my andis nvli supreme collaboration clippers uh no guard with your lever open when your lever is open that means that the teeth of your blades are not touching at all they're the furthest apart they can be right so what you want to do is follow the same exact guideline that the, first, the same exact first guideline that you made with your trimmers and follow it with your clippers go about an inch or so because mind you you still have to give yourself a little bit of room to fade so right here this is a little bit of an awkward angle too because you saw i wasn't just going up like how i normally would go with my second guideline but i kind of went literally vertically up at, at the bottom of his fade like you're seeing right now and uh this for this specific part of the area, you're going to see that I'm using my corners because you have to use your corners or else you're going to make a super big line and then you're not going to be able to take it out. But over here and the temple side of his head, I do use the full blade, but I do also use a combination of using the corners. So remember when we first did our no guard open, fully open? Now you're going to want to go with your no guard halfway open, go right underneath where you went with your no guard fully open 
and then you go with your no guard completely closed. And that's when you start flicking out at the bottom line. You can see right there, I'm already taking care of that bottom line, like no problem. It's just a reverse down fade almost. You see, I do it in sections. A lot of people do it this way because it, it gives you more of a chance or gives you less of a chance to leave any lines in your haircuts, you feel me? So right here, towards the back of his fade, towards the back of that first fade, right? You're gonna see me using the corners a lot, a lot. Right over here, you're gonna see it. <laughs> and like I said, it's the easiest way to do it. If you use your full blade, I'm promising you, you're gonna end up making a super big line that you can't get out. And then you're gonna have to bring and push your fade a little further high. You don't wanna do that, y'all. You really do not wanna do that. Take my advice, be patient, and use your corners right here. Play with your lever. If whatever position you have your lever at, and you're still not being able to take out those lines, then you know what you should do? Lower your lever. Lower your lever and make sure that your clippers are cutting. You don't want to make any strokes and then they're not doing anything. You feel me? You're just wasting time. You're wasting energy to not be doing anything. You feel me? <laughs> so right here, you're seeing, I turned him around so you can see how faded he's starting to get. This is starting to come together, y'all. Mind you, be patient. With every haircut, y'all gonna get better. Y'all gonna get better until you are great. But it all comes from you. It all comes from the person with the clippers. It comes from y'all, you feel me? All right, my people, moving on to our next guideline. We got our number one and a half guard with the lever closed. Mind you, remember when the lever, when the lever is closed, that means that the teeth of the blade are as close as they can be. Same thing with how you did before, you're gonna wanna go about an inch. I actually went a little bit more than an inch only because I still have to use, well, personally, I know that I have to use my half guard in order to completely make this, this fade blurry, you feel me? I know a lot of barbers out there can do this step and skip, completely skip the half guard, but I'm not that type of barber, you feel me? It's not yet at least. But that's why we're here. That's why we're learning. That's why we're growing together. Same exact steps. You go with your one guard open and then you go with your one guard halfway closed or halfway open. And then when you go with your one guard closed, mind you, as 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 you keep getting closer to that bottom line, you keep, you keep closing your lever. When you keep doing this, bro, you're going to start seeing that that line is slowly disappearing. That line is slowly getting out of that, of that, of that fade. You feel me? It's starting to break up. And then once you feel like you can't get anything out from your one guard, that's when you switch it up to your half guard. To your half guard, right? So right here, you're seeing I'm already fading all of this out. But that's as much as I can do with my one guard. You're going to see right here, I can't really do much anymore. I'm still hitting it up to make sure that I did everything I can with my one guard. But eventually, you're just going to see I have to go in that 16th guard with that half guard. And you're going to also see that I'm using my corners. Even right here with my one guard, I'm using my corners. I'm playing with my lever. I'm making sure if I see any dark spots that I can take out with that one guard, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to be lazy and I'm going to try my best at every single haircut I do. My artwork is on people's heads, you feel me? The, you guys are artists and I can't say this enough. Y'all are artists. Give yourself a round of applause right now. Stand up right now and bow for yourselves, bro. I'm telling y'all are artists. You see right here, I'm still just playing with my lever. I'm flicking out. I am using my corners. And honestly, I feel like this is probably the best I could do with that one guard. So coming here with my 16th guard, I'm using my corners. Any little dark patches I see, I'm going to make sure to hit it with my corners. I'm not going to use my full blade because I'm not going to want to raise this fade higher. Especially because this is a burst fade, I have to use my corners. I have to play with my lever. And if I can't take anything off with my lever being open, what am I going to do? Y'all know this. Y'all going to make your lever halfway open. And if it still doesn't take anything out, then make your lever halfway closed. You feel me? It's just about patience. It's about experience as well. Like I said, with every haircut, y'all are going to get it. 
back here too. Same exact thing I've been preaching this whole past five minutes, y'all. Stop playing with your boy Javi Clip. Stop playing with me. Just just watch. Just watch, y'all. You see how faded that's starting to get? How the gradiency is starting to be there? Next thing I am doing, y'all, is I have my number two guard with my lever closed. The reason why I did this is because I just felt like I just wanted to make his hair a little shorter on the top. There's no real reason. I could have made it at a number four. I could have made it at a number five, but I just wanted to make the top shorter. That's a personal choice of mine. My client right here, he really didn't have any real idea or direction as to what kind of haircut he wanted. So I just did this. I just freestyled on him. Our next step is with the same one and a half guard you ran before. Now you're gonna run that one and a half guard open into that number two you did on the top. So it should easily be blended into that number two on the top. And then once you do that fully open one and a half guard, guess what y'all gonna do right after? I promise you, y'all know this already step by step. You're gonna hit it with that one and a half guard halfway open, with your lever halfway open, right? That's exactly what y'all gonna do. I'm doing the exact same steps I just told you right here. Make sure to run that as much as you can before you move on to your next step. Every stroke counts, y'all. Every little movement counts, y'all. Also, y'all, try to not forget to also do the one and a half guard closed. Remember, closed. That's the last step in order to try to make this blend come together with that specific guard. That is your last step with that guard, right? Next thing you guys are gonna wanna do is some detail work, some detail work. And I'm not gonna tell you that the exact same steps I'm doing right here is gonna translate into your haircut. Maybe you might've brought up the fade a little higher. Maybe you did a different number on the top. Maybe you gave him a mohawk on the top, right? So this all comes down to how your haircut looks like. If you see any dark patches, hit it up with a number that you think you did in that area. So right over here, I know for a fact that in that area, I ran my number one guard. So I'm using a combination of my blade and my corners to try and break up any dark patches that I see. You feel me? That's all I'm doing. Same thing you're gonna do on the other side. But right now, since this is a moving barber shop, I gotta get to the money quick, you feel me? Not really, but I just wanna make sure my timing is good. So next thing I am doing is just trimming him up his trimming him up, lining him up, shaping him up. I'm just making sure he looks crispy with his lineup as well. You feel me? That's all I'm doing. Look at that. Look at that compared to the other side. That's really crazy, ain't it? That's really crazy. And just so I don't leave you hanging on the other side of the head, I'm going with the same exact steps I did on the other side of the head. You feel me? It's not that crazy. What you saw on one head, one side of his head, you're going to translate onto the other side of his head because it's the same thing, y'all. It's the same thing. I'm going with my Anderson Line Pros. You see it right here. But one thing I did do that I did not show you on the other side of the head is I actually ran my foil shavers at the bottom right after I did my little uh, first skyline, I ran my floor shavers just to give him that extra, extra skin fade burst effect. You feel me? Just to make the fade look that much better, that much cleaner. Same thing you're doing. Same thing, guys. You're gonna go with that. Uh, no guard open, and then you're gonna reverse down fade. You're gonna go with your no guard halfway closed, and then you're gonna go with your no guard closed. And then after that, you know what? You're gonna go with your half, one and a half guard close go about a little bit more than an inch and then you hit it with your number one guard y'all know the same exact routine y'all it's that simple you just gotta be consistent patient you just gotta you know just experience that's all it is Ooh, i'm not gonna lie though this beat kind of hard uh 
Y'all want y'all want to hear me? Y'all want to hear me hit a quick freestyle? You're not ready. You're not ready. Hold up. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, like tacos, no pollo. Yeah, like tomatoes, mamacita. Go, yeah. Oh, y'all not ready for y'all. <laughs> Let me stop bullshitting. Let me stop bullshitting. But. Just enjoy the rest of the cut right here, the other side of his head. I'm telling you, it's the same exact steps. Nothing too crazy. But moving on to his hairline, y'all. What I usually like to do with this hairline is starting in the middle. And then I work my way outwards. It's that simple. That way, you could really avoid making one side of his hairline higher than the other. With a hairline, especially with a lot of my clients they really want a crispy hairline you know so after a while after a lot of mess ups after a lot of uneven hairlines you just get the gist of it it's just a lot of practice don't be down on yourselves if your hairline doesn't come out as crispy as yours as mine you feel me that's all it is just keep hitting at it make sure to use your corners and make sure that you're looking at the whole thing entirely not just one side of the head and the reason why you should be looking at this whole thing entirely because you're not just working on one side of the head as i said it comes as a whole the haircut comes as a whole everything has to fit together perfectly or as perfectly as it can in order for the haircut to look good to make to be overall good you mean you know what i mean like your, your blend has to kind of be there your shape up has to kind of be there don't get me wrong though there are a lot of haircuts out there that are really messed up even though the barbers are really, really booked. You know why though? Because of the customer service, y'all. That's all, my guy. That's, <laughs> that's all, y'all. The customer, customer service is on point. It doesn't mean you're a terrible barber if your haircuts aren't on point. But it just means you can have a little bit more improvement in yourselves. You know? Same thing with me. I know I got some weak spots right here. Like on this side of his shape up. I know for a fact, whenever I do a liner or whenever I shape someone up on their left side, like right here, I always have a little bit of a problem compared to my right side. The right side always comes out so perfectly, but on their left side, it just comes out a little bit different, you know? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Everyone grows, I grow. You're seeing me here going back and forth on this airline, tapping and going and being really slow with it because I told you, this is all patience, y'all. Do not rush the haircut, have him looking messed up, and then still have the audacity to charge him for it afterwards, you feel me? <laughs> don't get me wrong. I, whenever I feel like I mess up on a haircut, I don't like if the client doesn't like it, I'm not going to charge them for it. I'm going to give them the best experience they can still possibly get in order for them to come back because if I did mess up, it was definitely my fault, you know? But right here, I'm just doing his lineup with the trimmers. Just make believe like your trimmers are a pencil, y'all. Y'all saw it throughout this whole video. I'm just using the corner of his trimmers to line him up. Corner of my trimmers to line him up, actually. My bad, y'all. But y'all can see, like, the fade is there. The fade is coming in, bro. It's just a matter of little detail works that you have to still keep doing, you know? And I'm still going in at the hell. Like I said, bro, that is the hardest part for me. It is. A practice and practice makes everything better. Next thing I am doing here, y'all, is he did want a little design in the back, right? So I ended up doing three lines, one bigger than the other, the top line being the longest, middle line being the middle longest, and the bottom line being the shortest, you feel me? I didn't go too crazy on this, only because this was my first type of haircut. That I, this is actually the first first fade I've ever done. So if y'all like it, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I know for the next one, it'll be easier. I'm going to know exactly what to do. Trial and error, y'all. Post all my successes. I'll post all my mediocre work. I'll even post my terrible works if I get that on film too. I'm telling you, this channel is about growth. I am growing and so are y'all. And I know, I know, I know right here, the lineup might not look the best, the lines right there. But when I do hit it with my razor, like I do right now, 
it's gonna look better. And the type of gel that I used was actually 245 shaving gel. That is so great. I promise y'all, it's so great. Check it out by Chris Basio. You can get it on their website, on Amazon. I'll leave the link down in the description below. And I'm use, also using some shark razors. I'll leave that in the link below as well in the comments section. And I wanna say with razor work, like I say it in every video, you really wanna take your time with this. You do wanna take your time. Cause you could give him the best haircut ever, but if the kid has like 50 cuts on him, what the hell is the point of the haircut, y'all? He looks stupid with the 50 cuts and a fresh haircut, you feel me? Like, take your time, y'all. It's not a rush. Take your time. And if the customer really fucks with it, they will learn to appreciate the time and effort that you put into that haircut. You don't understand the amount of people I've came across and they told me like, yo, I fucks with you. You take your time, you talk to me, you listen to me, you know what I want. We try to figure shit out together, even if it takes a little longer, you know? That's all it is. Same thing for the lineup in the back with the razor. I just go slowly by slowly. And actually with any type of lineup, with actually any type of razor work, you always want to be pulling away from the skin. That's a good point to keep in mind. A good rule of thumb to keep in mind is pull away from the skin. Keep your blade at an angle. You're gonna see right here, my blade is always at an angle. It's not literally up and down. You know, that way it will cut him. And I'm still using that gel 45. 245 actually, shaving gel. Amazing gel, y'all. And remember, be very gentle. It's like your baby, it's like your partner. You don't wanna rough him up. You just want to take care of them, you know? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know why y'all gave me the mic. I be talking too much. I be talking way too much. And, you know, this is him before the haircut. I'm not going to lie. He was like, yeah, you know, ain't nothing too crazy. But, Jesus. My boy's looking crazy right here. He got the burnt skin fade to be in the back, the lineup. Nah, bro. And we had to show him right here. I had to get his reaction to the haircut too. I love doing this because they, I feel like whenever the client is in the chair and they really like the haircut, it makes me feel good about my work and they feel good because they look good too, you know? That's, that's beautiful, y'all. That's really beautiful. That's the after, y'all. I really hope y'all liked it. Let me know, comment, subscribe, share this. Let me know, y'all. Till next time, y'all. Oh, that's nice, huh? Rack it up, rack it up. I got a better.